This time I will talk on uh, the, the surface current and uh, some work has been done uh, have been done in, uh, in the frame of Copernicus and uh, also in uh, an R&D activity Salvator of France in, uh, in the frame of uh, also the Earth system, uh, the next Earth system of Meteor France. Well, the outline is uh, like this, the motivation, uh, current in the, the global uh, CMAMS wave system, which is Copernicus. Uh, after, I will show uh, work has been done uh, with the collaboration from Mercator and coupling with waves and ocean. And uh, finally, I will uh, show some preliminary results on uh, tropical Atlantic sitting for, to understand uh, how the waves and the current affect uh, uh, the, uh, the wind uh, in the boundary layer, atmospheric boundary layer. Okay. Well, the, this is uh, to start. So the, this is a, uh, the, the, the relevance of using surface current in our uh, operational wave uh, system. This is an example of, uh, uh, of uh, the upgrade ha which has been uh, per per uh, updated uh, in the last uh, month of April. Uh, this example is showing the, the case of uh, Hurricane Meranti, which is uh, coming in, is shown here by uh, the tr track of the typhoon. And this track uh, shows that there is a swell uh, propagating to Taiwan here with a very, uh, Meranti was uh, v with a very high wind speed, uh, propagating a very uh, long swell to the southern part of uh, Taiwan. And uh, in the southern part of Taiwan, we can see here uh, at this um, point that we have a very strong current coming in the opposite uh, direction of, uh, of the waves. And this uh, current was strong, almost uh, two meters per second. And we were at this time in, uh, in, uh, in presence of t uh, high tide conditions, almost three meters. So we can see here the impact of the current uh, <coughs> on the waves. The black color shows the, our old system uh, CMAMS V3, which indicating uh, 11 meters at the, at the peak time of the event. And uh, for the V4, which is using now uh, the surface current from Mercator, we can see that the significant wave height increased by uh, two meters. This is uh, to show how relevant the, the, the surface current uh, in, the, in the wave system. So this is very important. And for the, the, the three point of motivation, I want to talk in the, here. Uh, I want to mention some examples on the on the upgrade of the, the global wave system in Copernicus. Then uh, the improvement and the validation uh, of the coupling between ocean and waves uh, by using surface current from uh, altimetry, for instance, and uh, also uh, the preparation of the Earth system. Well, this is uh, rapidly the, the new system with uh, some uh, improvement related to the wave physics for the, for the surface stress, uh, with, for the coupling, and uh, the, the daily surface current forcing from the CMAMS global wave system. This is a, this is a snapshot showing the, the features induced by the surface current in the Agulas. Uh, this is an example of performance of the, of the system uh, uh, here. The, this is the scatter index in comparison with the altimeters. Uh, this is uh, in March 2017, and we can see here for the strong current area, we uh, we improving in blue the new system uh, MFM with the with the C4 surface current. This is the scatter index of significant wave height than the the, 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 the old system, and uh, this improvement is uh, can go to uh, up to 10 percent, which is uh, really uh, very important in uh, in terms of uh, wave forecasting. Uh, we did a, a work uh, two years ago with uh, Stéphane Lochun from Mercator, and we compared how, uh, how the, 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 this wave system is uh, reacting when using different uh, sources of, of, uh, of current. In, the, in that case, we used, uh, we used the free run from NEMO, which is called here ORCA 25, which means uh, quarter grid resolution, and the C3, which is the old system of the Mercator. And uh, this is a, a map here, the scatter index of the, of the wave height. Uh, this is the comparison with the altimeters during 2014. 
And in the middle, we have the improvement induced uh, by, uh, uh, by the current, the free run of, uh, of NEMO. And at the bottom, we have the improvement of scatter index uh, when we use the C3 system. And uh, we can see here in the table, uh, this is the, the ocean area. Uh, the, the, the blue uh, background color shows the, the, the performance with the, the free run without any assimilation. Uh, of the of the of the Nemo wave uh, ocean system, we can see here this this work this this works uh, slightly <coughs> good, and uh, which up to eight percent here for the Gulf Stream. Well, you can not see the Kuroshio, but for the for the for the yellow part, we can see that when we use the psi three, which is as assimilating altimeters, the the improvement goes until fifteen percent here, fourteen percent here in the Kuroshio area. So we improved all the ocean current, uh, strong uh, current area. But the, the surface current has uh, uncertainties, and we can see here the blue color here showed in the southern hemisphere, and here in the tropics shows some uh, degradation induced by the use of the surface current. This is uh, very important, and this is uh, a strong motivation to, uh, to, uh, uh, to address to people working on the ocean, uh, ocean side. Coupling. So uh, what we what we have done in the coupling, we uh, we uh, we coupled the, the Nemo Ocean model from Mercator and uh, the Wave model from uh, Meteo France, and uh, we have uh, following the work of uh, Eivind Breivik, we have uh, the the three uh, coupling uh, process, mm -hmm. the momentum flux is uh, modified by the waves by using the source term from the wave model, the stock scorer is forcing, and the wave breaking and using turbulence in the ocean mixed layer. Uh, this work has been uh, done and published in Ocean Dynamics this year, and uh, we did the, this uh, experiment of ocean coupling for three years, uh, 2014 until 2016, and the, the, the NEMO model was 20, 20 kilometers grid side. Here is an example of the average over, over, over the three years of uh, here the, the ratio between the total stress and all the stress released to the, to the ocean. We can see here uh, when it's uh, close to, to one, which it means that, uh, uh, that there is a, uh, this is an average. Well, the, the, the white color shows that there is uh, less than uh, one, uh, then there is a strong uh, area of uh, wave breaking, so then uh, which, was, which di was dissipating the, the, the wave energy. And this is the Craig and Banner and using uh, enhanced ocean mixed layer. We can see here when it's uh, increasing, it means that we have more mixing in the, the, the upper ocean mixed layer. And this is the average of the stocks with the, the stronger, strongest area is the southern hemisphere and also some part in the ocean, uh, Indian Ocean and the Pacific. Uh, we did the validation of this uh, work uh, against the, the, uh, the altimetry uh, level 4 uh, surface current for the three years. And here's uh, an example. We did this uh, validation for uh, all uh, coupling activated uh, process. Uh, and we, we also wanted to check uh, what are the results when we activate uh, only one, uh, one process. Like here, the stocks only. We have less uh, impact. Uh, and here, we're just using the wave breaking and using turbulence. Uh, we can see here uh, the, the color when it, when, it is, uh, when it goes, this is an improvement scale. So when it, uh, when it goes to, to the red, it means that we improve the system. When it goes to the blue, it means that we, we degraded the, the system. Here we have a very uh, nice uh, reddish uh, map everywhere. We have just uh, some point here left in the southern hemisphere as usual and in the Pacific here. And also in the, uh, the western part of the Pacific. Uh, when we use, well, it, this is obvious, when we use all the coupling process, we have the best improvement, and it goes until 24% in average uh, over the, the three years. We also had the coupling for a high-resolution system. This, this one was the EB system, which is Iberian Biscay uh, Island. And uh, in this case, we used uh, the model MF1 with 10 kilometers resolution. And, sorry. And uh, the grid size of NEMO was uh, 1 over 36 degrees. 
uh, we use the three coupling process and uh, I want to show here some uh, results on uh, on uh, the case of uh, storm Petra uh, how is uh, how is how is working the, the coupling in case of uh, a strong uh, storm event and uh, this event Petra it was in 5th of February 2014 we had a very intense uh, winter season in February uh, in 2013 uh, 2014 and you can see here that we have up to 14 meters of significant wave height near Brittany. Here is an example of difference when we use coupling and without coupling uh, of the of the wind uh, of the of the the, the the stress. And you can see here a strong area uh, impacting the, lo the location of the storm. This is uh, some results related to the impact of the coupling on the on the SST, sea surface temperature, and the U component. Very strong uh, impact. And uh, this work has been uh, validated. I will not show uh, all the results. And uh, I want to show also an example here of the, the, the transect here. We have uh, the impact on the ocean temperature and uh, the salinity and the two component of the of the velocity the current velocity we can see here that the impact is uh, significant until uh, deep in the in the ocean uh, layer uh, more than 1 kilometer which is really uh, interesting what we what we have done is uh, when uh, when we did a, a, a coupling experiment the easy way to check if the coupling is working well so then we get the surface current from the coupling from the mnemo and we get them again in the wave model and validate the wave model with altimeters uh, wave data, which is an easy way and a good checker for the, for the results. This is an example here without current and with current from the coupling. And we can see for this uh, uh, winter season, uh, when we're using the surface current from the coupling, we improved slightly the, the, <coughs> the bias and uh, the scatter index, which is uh, promising for, for, for the future. Well, this is a, just a snapshot to show uh, during the event how, how strong was the, the difference between the significant wave height when using the current uh, from the coupling and without current. Here is for the significant wave height in this area in the channel was very strong uh, impact. And here is the, the period, uh, second order period, with a very strong impact in the channel and also near the western coast of, of France. Well, uh, the, the last part of my talk is related to the Atlantic, uh, tropical Atlantic, and uh, in this case we, we, we started to look at uh, uh, my colleague Hervé Jordani was setting an uh, atmospheric model from uh, miso uh, for uh, in the frame of Pirata, and we started to, uh, to, to check and to, to, uh, to try to understand uh, what are the process uh, indicated, uh, well, impacting the, uh, the wind in the atmospheric boundary layer in the ITECZ. So the, the problem is in this case we had in June 2010 uh, a very strong SST anomaly, one of the, the strongest SST anomaly uh, in the 15 years, uh, last 15 years. This is the SST and you can see here the, the heat here and the, the cold tongue is here. And this is um, the, the, up, uh, the upward vertical velocity which, uh, which, indica which indicate that the, the, this, uh, this features is almost correlated with the SST temperature and also the precipitation given by the, by the, by the atmospheric model. This is uh, really um, uh, show that there is a connection between uh, all this process and what we wanted to, 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 understand, to, to set is, uh, is all this uh, framework using Miso and Ash, which is uh, with, with this sitting of the physics, and uh, the surface interface from uh, the Meteo France 1 surface. At, at the beginning, we did just the default ocean atmosphere flexes from ECUM, but uh, the, the goal of this work is to uh, force uh, this uh, atmospheric uh, non hydrostatic model with uh, here SST uh, from ERA interim and also SST from Nemo Tropical Atlantic uh, provided by a colleague from Ligos, uh, uh, Julien Joueno. And this, the, the step after is connecting directly the model MF1 here with the stress and uh, the model MF1 forced, forced by the surface current 
modifying the stress and connecting it to the surface uh, interface and then uh, to, the, to the atmospheric non-hydrostatic model. Well, after that, we, have, we can check easily. So we have the output from the, the, the atmospheric model and we can force the model MF1 and validate with the altimeters and see if the winds are improved or not. This is the beginning uh, to show that uh, the system is, uh, is set and uh, works quite uh, correctly. Uh, we did an experiment here with, with forcing, with analyzed IFS, and here uh, the wind coming from the, this system with the, with the SST from uh, NEMO Ocean Model. We can see here that the, the, the scatter index from the, this, uh, this setting on the left side uh, works uh, cor correctly with 12% of error and uh, with 8 centimeters comparing to altimeters of bias. So here with the IFS analyzed, we had, of course, a better uh, scatter index uh, because uh, the, uh, the, the IFS analyzed system is using a 4D VAR assimilation system, which is uh, obvious, then we will get a better scatter index. But we can see here the bias of this, of this uh, analy uh, analyzed uh, IFS is uh, two times greater than the one uh, given by uh, the, the wind from the uh, force, force from meso and Nash forced by SST from ocean model. Well, this is a very good point to, um, uh, to for the for the for the next step. And uh, here is the the next step. So this is the we try to check here the wave regime in this area. Uh, this the swell uh, when it's uh, uh, red. So then we're close to one, and when it's uh, uh, less than uh, 0.9 or 0.5, it's more uh, shorter uh, waves. Here is the impact of induced by using surface current from uh, Mercator, uh, or also uh, we, we try to use also the surface current from uh, altimeters. And here is what we want to uh, inject to the meso and Nash atmospheric model, which is the difference when we use the current and without current of, uh, uh, on the stress. So, next step, we will, uh, we will see if we, uh, we improve the, the wind uh, in the system or not. Finally, well, uh, the, this is the conclusions, and I think I, I get over my time. Uh, I want just to mention that, uh, yes, we need the uh, surface current from space, so then this is very important to, uh, to validate our uh, coupling systems and also to force the wave model and... Uh, improve the wind field at the atmospheric boundary layer. Can you give a section in which you focus on action? Thank you very much. Any questions? May I can ask one? Yes, certainly. So that uh, map you show about the convergence, uh, yeah. is that a temporal mean that you that's produced from which model? Or? It's from the meso Nash atmospheric model. It's a diagnostic. Uh, it's a kind of uh, horizontal uh, convergence. With the time mean? Or yeah, I think so, yeah. Because what we usually see in it's uh, over the month. The data it's over the month, yeah. Is uh, patches of divergence, yeah. convergence everywhere yeah. in the IDDZ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't see a consistent, uh, consistent convergence mm. uh, region, but more like a patchiness of convergence, okay. divergence, which is what you expect, basically, yeah. on the for the mesoscale convective systems. Mm. So this one is the Linsen Lingam. Uh, this is a famous uh, divergence in the atmosphere, the Jordani star. Yes, yes yeah. but uh, yeah, I think if you, if you, if you uh, I think Hervé can show uh, many uh, plots on this part of the atmosphere. Yeah.